Hi friends, this is Shannon from the blog beautywithinhome.com and today we have a simple and budget-friendly do-it-yourself project. I am going to be updating and refreshing this window. We do not have the budget to replace this window completely. This is my last remaining single pane window in my house. All of the other ones have been updated to the white trim windows and double pane. So I just wanna make this window flow with the rest of the house. So I'm gonna paint the trim white and then I thought it'd be fun since this window already has the grates going across that we could make it look like the farmhouse windows that have the grates inside and just add a line down it. Now I obviously want to do this as budget friendly as I can. So I bought white vinyl electrical tape and we are just going to add that straight down. This whole roll cost me $5 at Home Depot and you can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, and you can, and I will link it in the comments below, and you can add this as a really cheap and easy refresh. So let's see how this turns out. Here are some of the supplies you will need. You will need to do a light sand on the window just to kind of rough it up so that it can stick. And this is a 220 grit sandpaper. And then you need obviously paint brushes, tape off, and then that is the scotch tape, the white vinyl scotch tape to add the uh, grates if that's what you're gonna do as well. So I am going to first sand, then we are going to prime the black, and then I will paint it. Um, we will be using a uh, latex paint and it'll just be a white latex paint. Okay, we have prepped everything, we sanded, and we taped off, so now it is time to prime and paint uh, we don't tape off around the window because we just scrape off the paint with a razor blade afterwards. You can, of course, tape off if that's what you want to do. It's totally up to you. Let's get to painting. I have my coat of primer up and already it looks so good. And I am going to now paint with paint. It's been drying. Um, just so you don't think I'm crazy, I did not tape off the window. Um, you can always, instead of taping off a window, just scrape off the paint with a razor blade. And that is just what we decided to do. So after all the coats are done and it's dried, I will just scrape off the window, window with a razor blade. So let's get the paint on. I'm so excited. And there's my cat in the reflection. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It's a new day and we are back at it with the window. And here is our update. So this is one coat of primer and two coats of paint. I knew that I had to do a little touch up. So we opened the window this morning and we wanted to see where it was going to stick. We knew that we were gonna have some parts that kind of stick when you're painting a window. So we did have to score the edges with a razor blade. You can see where just naturally paint globbed up and you can just score the edges with a razor blade. Now we are do-it-yourselfers, we are not experts. So <laughs> do-it-yourself projects are a learning experience. And basically we forgot to score up here before opening the window. So it did tear off some paint. So this seam right in here we should have scored which would have helped. So on my touch up this next time I'm going to touch that up. Uh, so just make sure you score the edges before opening. And I am not going to paint 
this bottom part right here. Um, I just feel like it, that black line doesn't bother me. It's still black under there and that would just create more sticking in my opinion. So I am going to leave it. Now, um, the window did open for anybody who is concerned about that. Um, but let me preface this with saying that we live in Florida. So this window is not opened very often. I mean, we have 90 degree weather most of the time. So uh, this is really just for looks for us. Um, we just have all the other white windows in the house with that trim. And so we just wanted to update this window as well and make it look like it flowed with the rest of the house. So um, it looks great though. It really did well. There's only a few spots to touch up. It opened. And so um, I am going to do my touch up now. So I'm gonna show you how we score off and scrape off the paint since I explained that we did not tape off and you can just scrape it off with the razor blade. So you can score the edges just to kind of help protect and not be ripping off the paint where it's not supposed to be. And then You just take the razor blade, I'm trying to film and show ya, and you scrape at an angle. Then sometimes it'll just peel right off, yep. See? Makes it easy, so it comes right off. We are at the part where we are adding in the white vinyl electrical duct tape to create the grates just vertically. And so you have to start it at the top and you're gonna start it just with a little bit of an overlap and you can cut it down with a razor blade later. And then you're gonna, and you measured out the middle of the window obviously and to find your center and that's where you put your tape. And then you're gonna grab your level. So you wanna make sure that this is level going down. And we're gonna try to film this the best we can while we do this. And it's a little tedious to get it lined up, but uh, you don't wanna pull too tight. Um, I have read that, you know, there can be some shrinking of the tape. So you don't wanna pull too tight, but you do wanna push down once you get it in place and kind of get any bubbles out. So we are going to line it up and then push it down. And then, like I said, we will cut it with a razor blade and we will even leave a little bit at the bottom. You don't see it on the piece and it just allows, so you don't see any window, you don't cut it too short. And then we're gonna go all the way down. So we'll go all the way down the window. And like I said, we'll cut that middle piece out with a razor blade. So we have it lined up, pushed down, and now we just need to cut it to the proper lengths. So we are gonna be cutting it just a little bit below the line, so that way it doesn't shrink, and doesn't show any window, so you can't see it on there. It's better to be safe and just leave a little tiny bit extra on there. And so that's where we're gonna cut. We'll take a razor blade and just score it and then we will just cut that piece off. And we'll have to do the same to the bottom. And we just went right across the horizontal grate just to make it easier to line it up and to level it. So we will just cut that piece off in the middle so that it's not on that part and guys look at how awesome this window turned out I am so excited about it it is funny how something so simple can make such a big difference and really it didn't cost much at all that whole roll was five dollars and I could have done more than just this window but now this window in my master flows with the rest of my house and just looks a little more fancy and I just I just love it it's so beautiful Follow along at beautywithinhome.com for more do-it-yourself projects and home decor on a budget. Thanks for stopping by my faux Florida farmhouse.